那接下来，呃，就像我刚刚说的，就是我们的。就是呃，社群之间的合作其实就不只限于说呃，我 fork 你，你 fork 我，那或许也有就是一起我们共创，我们一起协作，一起制作东西的呃专案哦、喔。那像接下来的下一个专案就是 Her Story， Her Story 其实就是像这样子的一个一个合作，就是跨国协作的一个专案。那我们将由小班，就是 Julie V 的小班跟 Pace Pace 嘛，这样念 Pace， 以及就是 n e w f o r 的呃 f o l i d i o 一起来就是进行我们的报告。那小班因为他不太方便就是露脸，那所以请摄影大哥也麻烦我们不要就是拍到这样子，谢谢。Okay, so hi everyone. We thought this will be an English session, so we prepare in English. So the topic is her story in East Asia. Okay,、uh, go on. So、uh, today's outline will be: we are introduce how this project starts, how we start to the project collaboration, and then the career and participants will join、um, online,、uh, sharing what from their point of view what this project like, and also the technology they use in their gender movement. And the third, we will talk more about like how we co-organize the overseas collaboration, because it's quite hard. So how this project start? So、uh, last year, Jen in Okinawa,、uh, there's a hackathon called Facing the Ocean Hackathon. It's co-organized by Japan and Korea and Taiwan groups. So the idea is that we bring the city hackers into one place and try to do something. But what can we what can we do together? Actually, at first we are going to pitch tomorrow, but we just meet like the night before and. I don't know anything about Korea or Japan. What we can do together? So during the chatting, I talked to the、uh, women and girls in in the event, and then realized that, for example, gender issue does exist in civic tech scenario, and also、uh, we found that we have shared experience under like、uh, similar cultures, like the, the discrimination or、um, uh, the job. Job limits or the culture things, so we decided to make a w- website that can collect、um, that can collect、uh, the the gender feminist movement or gender issue stories into、uh, a collaborative form in each country's language, which means, for example, Taiwan collect、uh, put twenty important events of Taiwan feminist movement. In Chinese, and then we translate it into English, and Japanese and Korean translate back to their own languages. Then we can have a website that you can switch the language、uh, in three countries in your own language、uh, to s- see the timeline and and the map of the yeah. So the so this is a Google strategy we're working on、uh, to do the translation job. And then have a website for timeline to see、uh, to see a timeline. The idea of timeline is because we want to compare the similar issues have happened in Korea, Taiwan, and Japan. For example, like、uh, abortion, Taiwan has earlier, like for example, in nineteen or eighty nineteen eighty five or something. But Korea is as late as like the previous two or three years. Okay, so、um, we switch to Korean participants.
So here's our Korean participant who uh, called Fluid, and she she was introducing how she collaborate in her story ish, uh, her story project. Okay, um, so I want to share how we organize this overseas collaboration. <coughs> we found there are three main difficulties, three main difficulties in this project, and which are language barriers, schedule difference, and expectation difference. So first, the language part, um, because we always hold meet up by English, but not ma not every participant can speak fluently in English. So we often have one representative in their countries and they translate their discussion into English and speak to other countries. And it causes a huge communication cost. And also we found uh, during the translation work, we found, there, we found that there are translation bias because some, uh, some stories or words is hard to explain in different cultural contexts. So uh, how we figure out this problem is we try to use typing meetup on HackMD. And we type some, um, some discussion on HackMD and, and use typing to discuss. And also we're looking for multilingual talents to help us translate the stories directly into other languages. So and they, then we can avoid this translation bias. And the second problem, second difficulty is schedule difference. Uh, in Japan, they have code for Japan. They hold meet up every month, uh, once a month. And in Korea, they have no for local hackathon. And we don't know how, what's the frequencies they hold their meet up, but they have a lot of projects in simultaneously. So they are always very busy. And in Taiwan, we have Gov Zero hackathon, and we hold meet up about once two months. And as you can see, we are a lack of meetup and communication. So we try to use online discussion and we set milestones to each other to uh, try to push this project. And the third expectation difference is uh, Japan, they want to host student hackathon and use the Her Story website as a data searching tool. And in Korea, uh, as I have said, they have a lot of project and they think Her Story is, uh, is done and they are gradually moving to other projects. And in Taiwan, because this project is originally found by L, and now I take, responsi take responsibility. So we are still reorganizing this local team. And after yesterday meet up, we decided, to, we decided that every country should work separately because we can work in our own pace and we won't make pressure on each other. So lastly, I want to share how I collaborate with Korea engineer because um, I work as a UI designer in this project, but I'm still a student and I didn't have a lot of experience. So this is my first time to deliver a UI draft to engineer. And I always feel anxious because I'm not, I'm not sure whether I'm, I'm do it right or wrong. And also, the engineer SL and I, we are, also, we are both um, very busy in November. So we have a huge postpone and after that we found it's hard to catch up after that postpone. So these are the collaboration experience of her, her story. And I have to admit that this is not an easy work because um, I'm not very familiar with the uh, open source communication co community. And 
And also, I didn't have a lot of working experience. So I have to spend a lot of time to understand how it works, and I need to take a lot of effort to try to make it better. But I think it's a good chance for me to grow up and learn a lot. So I think it's my pleasure to work as a part of her story. So if there's anyone who is interested in her story or overseas coll collaboration, you are very welcome, and we are looking forward to work with you. Thank you. 非常感谢，就是佩斯的分享，然后也欢迎就是所有对就是 Her Story 有兴趣的朋友都可以加入、哦。那我们现在就是设备问题处理好了，那就是现在播放就是韩国的参与者他的一些想法跟分享。Hello, Gopshir friend. I'm a fluid who is an activist at Shadow Pins, a member of No Fool, and a writer for Femiwork, and a graphic designer. It was on February 29th of this year that I joined Her Story in earnest, and since I started joining No Fool in the fall of last year, I've come to want something similar to. What I've been doing at Femrog, and there's something to expand and try. I think. Since then, after the Anthrams incident in Korea broke out, similar incidents emerged one after another in China and Japan. And as a result of Corona, though the increase in hate crimes against Asian women, it seems that I work hard with more responsibility. I heard the history first started in FTO facing to ocean in Okinawa in June 2019. Later, when SL visited to FTO Tainan in December of the same year, and he shared the photos of the event on No Fool Slack, connected an online cam between Gofshiro and No Fool. At that moment, I was having a meeting to see how to do the admin page for another project, such as Pansanim. Pansanim means judge in Korea. I have some blurred memories that I said hello to El someone else or someone else very briefly. Those things came to me in a flash of inspiration because I've been doing activism at Shadow Pins. Through various methods based on feminism legal theory, I thought it was fun in a viewpoint from a graphic designer who is learning programming without starting from the beginning as a programmer. At this time, we have a good time to take pictures with mask and distance together as the corona is full swing in Korea. And in my memories, after Zoom call on this day, all of a sudden, some people started sharing their favorite female musician's song on Gofjero Hustle Channel. In my case, I brought the girls' generations in, into the new world. It's very famous as a protest song that students of Ewha Women University sang in front of police and when. Anti-corruption of private education. New people came on this way. There are stories about women in the art world disappearing from the scene, and I also talked with Nay that the incidents that couldn't fit in the thirty cuts should be archived in some way and another opportunities for reference. There are already three feminist wikis in Korea. I thought we need to bring additional workers from those wikis sooner or later. These things are guideline we made. Three topics: what kind of project is her story? Feminist movement. What it is? Please collaborate like this. 
on this day Jess joined us and it was a day when we ate a lot and got drunk. Meetings, meetings. There were talks and chats about Koreans are always did work too hard compared to another countries between no full members. I thought this is not what we intended from the beginning. In Korea, tons of feminism issue news incidents are have brought out since 2015. It's a huge wave and some people said it is reboot. So we have a lot of thing to do record. And maybe we are to delusion because many female members of history from NOFU are full store. We heard history from Govjero there was similar issues named Second Mom. El Pei and I found we could do it better in text chatting, not in the videos. In particular, some of the word of feminism is very difficult to translate. There are many discussions about what's appropriate translate word. In case of comfort woman, I thought it was not ethical for victims. I hope the history will continue to be more interesting in the future. Keep in touch with us on Slack and谢谢我们Herstory的团队